Good evening out there in Radio Land. How are you all doing? It's been a while since my last video. This is KC8ZKI, the QRP guy, and I've got something really cool here. It is a FT818 Yesu with what is being sold as a TB box. So what is a TB box? A TB box is a tuner and a battery box for the FT-818. You actually could use it with other radios if you wanted to. There's nothing stopping you. It's just a standard tuner and a 12-volt power source. But it has been custom designed to work with the Yesu FT-818 or the prior 817. So what does it do? It provides an antenna tuner and a battery source. So let me take it out here. Oh, and it comes with this beautiful leather case, which is very similar to the Yesu case, but double the size. I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so here it is, pulled out. It comes supplied with a power cable here that links from the power source. If I can show it to you like that. From the power source to the radio. And they also supply you with a small pigtail to go from the front antenna to the transmitter input on the antenna tuner. And how does it stay together? Notice how it's staying together. Pretty ingenious. They use magnets. So right, let me take the okay, take the power source off. Take the antenna connection off. And then it just separates. It's got, are they called neo, ne, neodymium? Is that, did I pronounce that correct? Probably not. Anyway, it's got four of those, and they hold it securely because the case of the FT is steel. So let me open this up and show you what's inside here. It's got these nice thumb screw standoffs, which actually make it stand on the table nice, even when it's not in that. Case. I'll take these four off here. Okay. Well, inside the case. You've got six 18650 lithium-ion battery cells. And it came equipped with Panasonic cells, which are one of the highest rated cells. The combined uh, milliamp hours of these is uh, giving you 6.8 uh, amp hours for the radio. You can see it's got a built-in battery monitoring system that will stop overcharging or undercharging or you know discharging it too far and also balance the charging uh, while it's being charged. And it did come with a small uh, lithium ion, I think it was a one amp uh, charger. So that's pretty neat. And then inside, beyond there, you've got a small tuner that is said to, I don't know if you can really see it there, you can probably see the two variable there's two variable capacitors and a variable inductor, and they say that it will handle about 20 watts. So that sounds about right. Put it back together here. Apologies, I'm putting it together slowly. As you can see, with that 12 volt output there, you know all you would need is the right cable to go to, you know, any other transceiver that ran on 12 volts, and you could use this with another transceiver. Nothing stopping you. Same with the tuner. But I think it's just so cool. 
when it's combined with the Yaesu FT818, which is, by the way, my absolute favorite QRP radio. I know there's other modern radios that do more, but I still love the FT Yesu. Okay, so there we go. Let's snap it back together. Line it up. There we go. Put the power back on. Okay, power's back in. Connect the antenna. Put it back in its leather case. Just like the Yesu case. You know why I had this apart? I should have reviewed these little legs. That's for another time. It's already back in. Okay, so it's together. It came with this 51 inch whip, which is obviously not going to do a whole lot on many of our HF bands. Might do okay on six meters, but it actually will tune it. down to 40 meters so it's pretty wide range tuner so let's turn this thing on and see what we can hear Let me zoom that in for you let's see how well you can see that okay we're on 10 meters let's unlock it we'll go down 20 meters there should be some activity there all right so let's turn it off there should be some ft8 there right but you're not hearing anything so let's move the inductor of course my wife's doing laundry right worst time to worst time to do a video well, you can hear the ft8 there it does work Go down to another band and see if. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's 30 meters indoors. And you're here in the FT8. Not particularly strong, but there it is. And let's see. Let's see if we can really stretch it down on 40 meters. Again, not really strong, but it works. And I actually had this little 17 inch whip. Oh, I'm talking and I'm not showing you. This little 17 inch whip here, it's a CB antenna tuned for 27 megahertz. I actually spoke with one of the, my local ham friends here last night on this from upstairs in the bedroom all the way home. He lives 4.3 miles away. He uh, never lost uh, contact with me and he said I was at least the S5 the whole way which really surprised me on a 17 inch whip but there you have it so that's it uh, you can find this on eBay the guy goes by the company name of CQ Ham and I'll post uh, his call sign also I saw his call sign on the circuit board in there and uh, you can purchase it on eBay. Uh, just look for the TB box for Yesu FT818. And you will find uh, listings on eBay. Very cool. Uh, really enamored with this product. So until next time, KCZKI with QRP Fun. Take care.